Hello everybody and welcome to the video commentary playthrough of the pre hooktail Pit of 100 Trials. This is Miles Luigi and to and help me along, I have brought... the evil Pop-Tart. Alright, um, I figured out I would ask this right away, evil Pop-Tart. What do you think of, uh, this challenge in general? What are your comments on it? It's gonna be... it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be tough, but... Ah, uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah. You just you just have this is a tough challenge and that's about it, huh? Yeah, it's nothing really too special per se. I mean, you got your setup and it's it's gonna be fine. I, I guess I don't understand what all the hype is about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the hype. All right. I guess it's just to prove that you could complete the Pit of Hunter Trials as early as possible because you actually can't physically get to it any earlier than this. Yes. So uh. Anyway, a lot of enemies on this next set of floors are very jump on -able, and this is just fantastic, because despite the pathetic attack power of Mario currently has, the fact that every enemy is jump on -able, for the most part, just works very greatly in your benefit. Yeah, because he's not going to do any damage anyway, so you're just kind of mostly relying on your partner unless you change your batch setup. Eh, not, that's not what's uh, going to happen. We're going to be doing lots and lots of jumping. Now this should be an interesting fight. I'm curious to see how you can handle some of these guys. Especially the buzzy beetles. Mm. Well, you gotta ground those buzzy beetles as soon as possible. But though... Power shell is gonna be nice, so... Sadly, like, Koop can't do Jacksonly squat here, so it's back out to Goombella. And once again, it becomes a jumping slugfest, as I like to call it, when you just jump on the enemy repeatedly and they can't attack back. <laughs> Pretty much, it's just immobilizes it, and that's part of the strategy for this. You just immobilize half your enemies. Now, when you get to the lower sections, um, it's gonna be different. Ooh, let's see if you can get this. Ooh, fail. All right. Um, I guess I haven't talked about this yet, and I plan on talking about it in the Let's Play proper, but I'll talk about it here too. Those bingos that come out, um, they are indeed uh, gainable if you are good at it. At it, but it's really, really difficult. Um, basically, the bingo slot itself follows a pattern. It'll uh. Starts on a mushroom, then it'll go to flower, then it'll go to star, then it'll go to shine sprite, then it'll go to poison mushroom. And if you are are very very good with your timing, you can actually uh, gain that bingo system and uh, get bingos every single time. Provided it's incredibly difficult to do so because the stupid thing rotates so fast that I have a lot of trouble doing it myself. But every bingo you are seeing here, I am trying to gain. Well, that's at least halfway decent because of, I mean, if you watch some of the YouTube videos, I mean, it takes a lot of practice, and it's actually, to be honest, the, it moves faster than the eye can keep up with, so the hand and eye coordination between that is always going to be a little off unless you practice it. And this is an interesting battle here, because my first concern, obviously, is grounding all these fuzzy beetles here. Um, yeah, what are you going to do once you're grounded now, unless you use power shell? Well, thankfully... If, as long as I continuously jump on them, they aren't able to attack, which is good, because in case you didn't notice, Goombell is already half dead after that attack. Indeed. So, once again, this literally became a jumping slugfest. Wasting enough FP as well, you're gonna run out here soon. Oh yeah, I actually ran out right here, but uh, the good thing is I didn't need it anymore. Lucky. <laughs> I had the exact amount right of FP, and I actually have a level up waiting for me, so me being out of FP isn't uh, life-threatening at the moment. So, how are you going to handle your level ups here, considering... Oh, that's actually a very, very good topic. Um, the conventional Paper Mario Wisdom um, level up your badge points as much as possible does not apply here because of your limited set of badges. Um, FP definitely helps, but uh, up to a certain point, because... Ultimately, actually, the best uh, thing to level up as we get later on is, oddly enough, HP, because you're going to start running to enemies with such high attack powers that even Super Guarding Fu Masters could use that comfortable HP margin to be able to get through the floors. So what do you do? You still level up EP. <laughs> FP! Do it now! I'm sorry, we do not have the I-Win button. 
we don't need the eye wind button for this. At least you got the FP, because you never know when you just keep... Sp Basically, if you're going to do this, just spam all your special moves, so I would go for FP. Yes, exactly. Um, typically, once we get to the end of this, we will be around 60 HP, um, 25 FP, and around 30, 27 badge points. Um, it's ultimately up to the player's preferences, but you will definitely want to be concentrating a little bit more on HP than a normal playthrough. Well, one good thing is if you really do decide to do this early, this would be a nice, easy way to level up, because your last battle, you got 36 star points for that at this point. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> yes. And oh, you're going to yes. get a hell of a lot more when you get harder enemies. Oh, yes. Um, one thing that's going to happen is uh, after you would complete a free hook tail in Winter Trials, you're typically sitting around 60 HP and have this brand new spanky uh, return postage badge. And at that point in the game, almost every single enemy attacks you directly. Hmm. Put two and two together. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a nice strategy. Start waving at the enemies. Hi, attack me. Oh, well, hi, you're dead. Pretty much. All right. So here we find a flower fuzzy. This is one of those situations where if I would have ran into a big line of flower fuzzies, it would have probably been in my interest to just uh, have the flower fuzzy kill off coops and then just wave high at the enemy. But I instead get a much easier battle. Lucky. Yeah, because you got a full line of fuzzies you can scout. That was that tap. That was that tap, but it would have been difficult. Now, I'm assuming this is, uh, well, obviously it's done on your, uh, dolphin emulator, so... Did you have a question regarding that, or...? Mm, no, i just curious to see how you got it, if you wanted to do this by hand, or if you did this by getting... Oh, do this legitimately. Um, yeah. I guess actually doing this on an emulator at one point did increase my confidence and made me think that this is as insane as a challenge as I originally thought. If I were to do this on a real console, though, I would, um, have to give myself a lot of time. This run, if successful, without all these speed-ups, takes like five or six hours. In my case, it took six hours. And Ouch. given the very many times we will see later on where one screw-up would have meant a game over, or one missed pretty lucky would have meant a game over, um, it's a big downer to, you know, go four or five hours in the game and then fudge it all up at a later floor. Indeed it would be, and it would probably tick a lot of people off. Oh, yes. Um, in my case, I'm not sure if I'll ever um, do this 100% legitimately, but you never know. Two or three years down the life, I feel like picking up Paper Mario 1000 your door again. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what we'll be into by then. Ooh, plus six. Anyway, I think I well, sat around there a little bit thinking, because right now I'm nearing another level up, and... Once again, I'd like to maintain the Make a Rush partner as long as possible, but I didn't actually level up, so it worked in my favor. I was gonna say, uh oh. Mm -hmm. So now I am actually very near a level up, which is good because it's another uh, Terra Buzzy, which is just. Oh, look, another line of four Terra Buzzies. Don't! You're not gonna have enough FP. No, I'm not, but might as well start using multi-bounce early because I do want them grounded so I can actually damage them. I would have like... put them all over right there and I would have whipped out poops to get rid of them. Ah. I just noticed that, I'm just saying. Yes, despite the high defense of the Buzzy Beetle, yes, poops with Mega Rush Partner could take them out. Um, I think I ultimately slug off the uh, long battle here. Well, the only reason why I suggested that was because A, you're about to get a level up. B, it, that would have been quicker, so... Oh. Yeah, in this case, because I end up not leveling up Koops, it probably did work out in my favor this way, and I didn't really care, you know, that Goombella or Mario took a couple of hits there. Yeah, it just took a little longer, so no worries. Next level up. Are you going to yell at me if I level up badge points? I'll find out if you do level up badge points. Oh, good choice. Good choice. 
Nope, I went with the FP this time. From you at the beginning. Chosen from the beginning you do um tend to balance out your level ups. It's just later on where you almost start leveling nothing but HP. But for now it's a little bit more balanced out. Would you believe me if I never balanced any of my characters as so long as I played this game? They have you never been balanced. <laughs> never really had a balanced level up. Nope. Okay. One was always two levels higher than the other. Didn't matter what it was. I got kind of lucky there that that Shady Koopa didn't attack Mario. He just kind of stopped before he fully attacked Mario. So, yeah, Rutroll like Raggy, we yeah. can't flip all these enemies over unless I am asking for a game over. What so, are going to do? Well, looks like we better attack him with non jumping moves. Nice super guards, by the way. You're getting better at that. Oh, thank you. I believe you started watching me trying to do some of those super guards, and you're like, oh, I gotta do something. I don't do super guards too often, but I do try. <laughs> Since they're kind of a necessity in this run, you know, I've been going for super guards all the time early on in this run, even though early on you would probably be better off going for the guards just for the practice. Yeah. Because we will see later on where both the combination of super guarding and luck badges kicking in just saves my, just saves my ass, honestly. <laughs> saves your keister, huh? Hey, look, it's Pity Flower. Ew. I pity you. <laughs> anyway, this has uh, been floors 31 through 40 of the pre hooked Tail Pit Winter Trials. Things are going to get really interesting because Nintendo never intended on a player to get through this next set of floors at this level. We will see you next time.